There has been a quiet change inside DJI's ecosystem that a lot of pilots are only just starting to notice, and it's one of those updates that doesn't announce itself loudly, but has very real consequences once you're out flying. This isn't a new drone launch, and it's not a new law suddenly appearing overnight. It's a software level change that alters how DJI's smallest drones behave depending on where you are flying, and in the UK especially, it has created a situation that many people did not expect. If you fly one of DJI's lightweight mini drones, the kind that stay under 250 grams, you may have already seen this without fully realizing what changed. When you power the drone on and check the altitude limit, you'll notice it is now hard locked to 120 meters. There is no option to raise it. No slider, no explanation, uh, it's simply fixed in place. So at first glance, that doesn't sound like a big deal. Hi, 120 <laughs> meters or 400 feet is the commonly quoted altitude limit in many parts of the world. Plenty of pilots never go near that height anyway. But the real issue here isn't the number itself, it's how that number is now being enforced and how that enforcement clashes with how altitude rules actually work in the UK. Under UK flying rules, altitude is measured from the closest point of the ground beneath the drone, not from where you took off. That distinction matters a lot. It's what allows legal flying in hilly and mountainous areas. As long as the drone stays within 120 meters of the surface below it, the flight remains compliant, even if the drone ends up higher than 120 meters above the original takeoff point. That flexibility isn't a loophole, it's written into the rules, and it's one of the reasons small drones became so popular for landscape flying in places like the Lake District, North Wales, and large parts of Scotland. Pilots could take off safely, then fly along ridgelines and slopes while staying within the allowed distance from the ground. The drone followed the terrain, not an invisible ceiling tied to the launch point. With this new DJI software behavior that flexibility is effectively gone, these small drones are now restricted to 120 meters above where they took off, regardless of what the terrain looks like beneath them. Uh, in flat areas, this may not change much, but in hilly environments you hit that limit almost immediately. You take off, move sideways toward a slope or ridge, and very quickly the drone refuses to climb further, even though you are still well within the allowed distance from the ground below, the real-world impact of this is significant. Shots that were previously legal, safe, and routine are now simply not possible. The only way to regain altitude is to physically land the drone higher up and take off again, and anyone who actually flies in these environments knows how unrealistic that is. Slopes are uneven, surfaces are unstable, and landing a small drone on grass, mud, or rock comes with a real risk of tipping over or damaging the props. What makes this even more frustrating is that the restriction applies no matter what permissions you have. Even if you are flying commercially, even if you have authorization coordination with air traffic control and written approval to exceed the standard height for a specific operation, the drone software still refuses to allow it. The drone doesn't know or care about your paperwork. The software just says no. That creates an uncomfortable situation where flying rules allow a flight, but the aircraft itself refuses to comply. Two systems that are supposed to work together are now out of sync. Some people have suggested easy fixes, like resetting the home point while flying. Unfortunately, that doesn't work. The height limit stays tied to the original takeoff location. Others have suggested avoiding firmware updates altogether. That doesn't help either. This behavior isn't linked to a specific software version. It's based on where the drone thinks it is in the world. You can prove this yourself. Take the same mini drone to parts of Europe and it will be locked to 120 meters. Bring it back to the UK. Still locked. Take that same drone to the United States, power it on, and suddenly the higher altitude options are available again. No software update required. The behavior changes purely based on location. That makes it clear this is a deliberate regional restriction built into DJI system, 
and in the UK's case, it's being applied in a way that doesn't fully line up with how UK flying rules are written, it also doesn't affect all DJI drones equally. Um, larger drones that sit above the mini category still allow altitude adjustments in the UK. That leads to a slightly strange situation where smaller, lighter, and generally safer drones are more restricted than heavier ones. For pilots who chose mini drones specifically for flexibility and fewer limitations, this feels like a step in the wrong direction. At the same time, DJI has quietly introduced other performance limits in the UK. Um, some drones that previously allowed higher top speeds are now capped lower through software. For casual flying, that may not seem important. But for professional work, speed isn't just about fun. It affects tracking shots, timing, and the ability to recreate previous footage. If a client asks for a repeat of a shot you captured months ago and the drone is no longer capable of matching that movement, that becomes a real problem. Not because the pilot changed, but because the tool did, naturally people have asked whether there's a way around this by changing how the drone is classified in the system. In some regions, DJI allows users to request changes through account verification. In the UK, that option appears to be option disabled. The button exists, but it leads nowhere. The system simply doesn't allow it. So where does that leave pilots right now? At the moment, there is no official workaround, no toggle, no exemption mode for authorized flights, no clear explanation from DJI about how this aligns with UK flying rules. What we're left with is a system that enforces a stricter interpretation than the law itself. To be clear, nothing is broken. This isn't a bug, it's a deliberate choice. But it's a choice that significantly changes how these small drones can be used in the UK, uh, especially in areas that aren't flat. If you mostly fly in open, level spaces, you might barely notice this. If you fly in hills, valleys, or mountainous terrain, it changes everything. It affects planning, shot selection, and even which drone makes sense to bring with you. As soon as there's clarity, adjustment, or an official response from DJI, I'll cover it. Until then, this is how things stand right now. Whether we like it or not, 